Welcome to IBM Developer Tech Tuesday. In this video, I want to show you how to make programmatic calls from your chatbot using Watson Assistant webhooks. Let's go. As a prerequisite, you need IBM Cloud Functions, IBM Watson Assistant, and an API that is working well, just as the Wikipedia page summary API that gives us back um, a summary of a topic in simply a few sentences so that you can define a topic. Step number one, launch your Watson Assistant. In there, switch from Assistant to Skills and click Create a Skill. From the dialog skill, click Next and give it a name, such as Wikipedia Definitions. You can leave the language in English and click Create Dialog Skill. We're going to build a chatbot that is understanding the questions uh, where we want to have a definition, where we want to learn more about something. So we need to create an intent that's recognizing these kind of questions. So let's, let's name this intent, tell me about. Click create intent and give it some user examples. For instance, tell me about Star Wars. I click at the example and it's gonna be added up here in the user examples. Let's create some more. And as you can see, we have different objects of interest that are here in our user examples. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna annotate the entities so that what's assistant knows what kind of entities it should extract out of the context it's called contextual entities. And that's the parameter in the end we want to give to our definition bot. So let's say, click on love, and we're going to enter an entity name, say, object of interest. Create new entity. And as you can see, it's highlighted in blue over here. We're going to do the same with the other examples. Here, two words make up the phrase or the object, object of interest for us. Next thing we want to do is we are going to create the dialog, but we're going to add a note where we're going to define the trigger intent tell me about. Plus, we want to make sure that the condition, our entity object of interest, is there as well. Step number two, we want to create our IBM Cloud function. Click on start creating and Next, we're going to create an action. You want to make sure that your Watts Assistant and your Cloud Function are in the same region. We replace the existing code and we're going to copy paste the other code example that's uh, in the recipe. Make sure you click on Save. And if you like, you can try out the invoke button. It doesn't throw an error, which is good. Now, next thing, go to endpoints. And we enable our function as a web action. Click on save. And copy the URL, which we're going to need in our webhook and what's assistant any minute. Now switch back to your Watts Assistant, click on Options, and paste the URL that we just created. One thing to note here is we need to add a .json at the end of our URL so that Watson knows that we're returning back a JSON snippet. No need to add any headers or authorizations, just go back to the dialog. Within our dialog note, click on Customize. In the Customize section, we have webhooks, which we can turn on. As you can see here, our webhook or URL is configured. And click Apply. Now, what Watson needs to do is check whether we have the object off 
interest, which is going to be our entity object of interest, which we want to turn to the URL, which we, what we're going to get back is the webhook result. And once the assistant recognizes the webhook result, we're going to need to give a response. Let's put it like this. I'm defining the object of interest. And we're going to use those brackets, the webhook result dot extract dot extract. Close the brackets again. Define gravity. And here we go. What if I put define love? We will also get a response. 